So I just dropped off Cruz and now I'm going to grab um, some donuts for the girls. At least homesick, but she's like that degree of sickness where she probably should have gone to school today. I'm going to go home. I have so much work to do. I had a big meeting yesterday. I have to finish some meeting minutes from that project and get those out. And then it's kind of like the wrap up phases of this project that's been going on for like 10 years. So I have so much busy work, cleanup work to do. Hold on, let me make my order. Thank you. Have a good day. Fun fact about me is that I'll wake up and be like, okay, today I'm gonna do really good and not eat any carbs or, you know, I'm gonna eat healthy. And then my body's like, eat carbs. You're not supposed to. So then I eat all the carbs. And then if we don't have any carbs in the house because healthy meat went shopping, I go and buy carbs. I actually like to hide until they leave and then go out and get it because I'm weird and don't like to talk to people. And then I complain that I don't talk to anybody and that I have no friends. But then I also hide from people. My kid, this was for my kid. She ate all the cream out of the middle. So now it's literally just bread. thing just happened I'm just sitting here doing work and my whole house just shook sound like somebody hit one of the windows with like a baseball bat or something I'm assuming it was like a bird but I just walked around everywhere and didn't see anything so hopefully it survived <laughs> today five p.m. don't give up but I still have to drink this too not bad I guess not too bad could have done better could have done worse though oh <laughs> we left the dog found the dog outside next I'm gonna do a little vacuuming how I like to vacuum. I got a Roomba for Mother's Day actually two years ago and I know everyone's like you got a vacuum for Mother's Day well guess what this vacuum vacuums for me so it's basically like getting housekeeper I need to get the waters off the porch I have this water propping this fern up. Oh, she's already gone. So there's a little nesty right there. He's got three eggs in it and this fake fern that always falls over because it's not full of any like rocks or anything. So I have that water bottle there to try to like hold it up. Stopped for a lunch break. Ended up going to Chick-fil-A for lunch. Mm, was it in my diet? No, but you know, sometimes you just um, want to eat Chick-fil-A and it's Friday, so there you have it. I'm gonna wrap up the rest of the day and then I have so many, many, many things that I want to get to. Who knows if that will happen. Wanted to make this a realistic day in life. Well, it is a realistic day in life, if I'm being honest. It's a day that you had planned that completely went off the rails and that's what happens in real life. So, realistic day in life. You guys, it's Friday. It's five o'clock. On to the next thing. Changing gears from work. I'm gonna clean up all this stuff here for the weekend. And then I have to run some errands, but I also wanted to plant my garden. I also wanted to clean the basement. Oh, so much stuff to do. Um, 
I'm gonna check and see what time that hot tub place closes. And if it closes at five, I'll probably just start working on my garden. And then I'll just go in the morning because the thing we were supposed to do tomorrow got postponed to Sunday. So my Saturday just opened up, which is so, so exciting to me. I also am cleaning out this car seat that's been sitting here for like two weeks. Cleaning car seats, the worst. But I got a new car and then my car seat didn't fit anymore. So then I got a new car seat, which is actually the same car seat. They just happened to come out with like a skinny version, which was perfect because I love, love, love this car seat. It's like the even flow 360, it moves sideways. So I'm gonna give that to Chris's cousin. Yeah, she just had a baby. I'm sure she's gonna love it. So I'm gonna give that to my Chris's cousin, but I needed to like excessively clean it because it was so gross. So now we're going into mom mode for the weekend. I'm gonna clean up all my work I stuff. had fun, too much fun doing water play with the girls and look, he's all scratched up from the grass. They got the slip and slide out. And um, they cleaned it up at least. Going down, down, down to the dungeon. I have been going back and forth. I want to set up a new office space in my house. As you saw, I've been working at the dining room table. I have like a little office in my closet, but it doesn't have a window and it's quite depressing. It's such a mess down here. Oh my God. I've been going through the basement, like giant purge. And I have this area. Don't judge me. This is all the trash I have so far that I need to get rid of. Back here is like storage. I need to go through the girls' clothes. These are clothes from when they were little. Books from when they were little. I don't, you see, I've done some stuff. I'm emptying some bins. I wanna sell this, but like, I feel like no one will buy it. I had some leftover COVID food storage for the apocalyptic, how do we say that word? Apocalyptic times. We were gonna live off ramen. So this is all just like storage. This is going to be where the girls keep all of like toys that they aren't currently playing with, games, etc. You can see they already broke into the bins, which I told them not to. The girls will learn drums one day. Every time they try to learn it, I say no. And then this will be like the playroom, which I'm still working through. But we've got nice big windows down here and a nice door. So I've got lots of natural sunlight. This can go outside for cruise. This was like my craft area that I had started to make. I'm thinking I can make this a standing work desk, which I'll love. And then I could obviously also sit. And then this table, I wanna put, I wanna put over there and make that like bump in the like new craft area. Cause all this stuff will be gone. So basically everything will be gone. It's like so much stuff though, that I'm like, mm, I don't even know where to start. I'll just go back upstairs and scroll my phone. I can't really go anywhere because Cruz is sleeping on the couch. I don't want to go outside and garden because I feel like that's something that he would love to do outside. So I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes and do the dishes, clean up the kitchen, and then maybe I'll do like a few loads of laundry and then see where I'm at because I can't let him sleep forever because then he won't go to bed tonight. Um, so let's start with that. So they're doing end of year wrap up for preschool. So we got his star. Looks like they gave him his star. They sent home his picture that we had. Oh, how cute. Cruz is three and he finally gets a picture on the fridge. Like. <laughs> Who prints pictures anymore? Not me. I'm a terrible mother. I literally have no art in my house. Anywhere. At all. I should probably get some. Did they do work? Yeah, you ready to dig, dig, dig? Right in the dirt. This 
just one of those things where it was fun in theory. And then once I started digging, I was like, why am I doing this? I just hope that the rabbits and critters don't dig up all my hard work that I just did because I was over it after the first tomato cage. But I can't Mommy, tell Chris that. Because he'll say I told you so. And he'll be right.